Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before proceeding further, I would like to give you some suggestions. Please sit with copy pen and watch video completely. And if you find somewhere important, then pause the video, note it and then proceed further. If you find any problem, any difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like share and subscribe because that can be reach more and more students and i will get the energy thank you let's move on uh, what the question says here the question is the best on comprehensions means three questions include in this paragraph so please listen be carefully a uniform thin cylindrical disc of mass capital m and radius capital r is attached to Two identical massless springs of spring constant K, which are fixed to the wall as shown in the figure. The springs are attached to the axle of the disc symmetrically on either side of the distance D. From its center, the axle is massless and both the springs and the axle are in horizontal plane. The unstretched length of each spring is L. The disc is initially at its equilibrium position with its center of mass at a distance L from the wall. The disc rolls without slipping with velocity V0 equal to V0 I cap. The coefficient of friction is mu. Now first question based on this paragraph uh, that is uh, the net external force acting on the disc when its center of mass is a displacement x with respect to the equilibrium position is mu and you have given four option first minus kx second minus 2kx third minus 2kx by 3 and last option d equal to minus 4kx by 3 now you can see this disc moving in the forward direction so therefore, here restoring force is generated that acting to the opposite direction of the motion of the disc. So you can see that there are two springs, identical springs, which having displacement is the same x. And so therefore, net force of the spring is uh, minus kx minus kx okay so therefore now total force spring force is minus 2 kx minus indicates opposite direction of the disc so therefore this is the net force spring force now friction force is acting the opposite direction of this uh, spring force so therefore it will be subtracted and then f net force equal to f net force so 2 kx minus f mass into acceleration then acceleration can be written as 2 kx fs upon m equal to a <coughs> This is an acceleration. Now this friction force gives torque to the disc to move in forward direction. So therefore tau can be written as F into R. And tau also can be written as moment of inertia into angular acceleration. F into R. Here what is the formula of moment of inertia of the disc? mr square by 2 alpha equal to f into r this is the frictional force this r and this r cancel out then fs can be written as mr by 2 alpha now alpha can be written as fs equal to m r by 2 what is the relation between the angular acceleration and linear acceleration? 
a equal to alpha into r. Then alpha can be written as a by r. Now substitute the value of alpha a by r. Then r r cancel. F s equal to m a by two. Then acceleration can be written as two f s by m. That is acceleration. It is the second equation. First we have already find out acceleration. Then compare each other. Then we get compare by first and second two. K x minus f s upon m equal to two f s upon m. M m cancel out. Minus f s transposing to the right side. Now it become three f s two k x. Then f s can be written as two k x by three. Okay. So we have find out f s. Now as you know that net force. What is the net force? Net force, you know that here two k x. This is acting this direction. F s in this direction. So net force. What is net force? Net force two k x minus minus two k x by three. Then three to the six k x minus two k x by three. Then formula is that four k x by three. This is the net force. So and it is negative direction. We have already minus is neglected. So here negative answer. Which option is correct? This is last option minus four x four k x by three is the correct answer. Now second question. What the question second says? The center of mass of the disc undergoes simple harmonic motion with angular frequency omega equal to. Root k by m, root two k by m, root two k by three m, root four k by three m. From the first question, we have already find out f net minus four k x by three. That is the answer we have already find out. Uh, what is the f net minus four k x by three? And you are well known that. Force equal to mass into acceleration minus four k x by three, and acceleration can be written as four k x by three m. You are well known that in the case of simple harmonic motion, a equal to minus omega square into displacement. By comparing with this condition for the simple harmonic motion, you can see that in the place of omega square. Here the constant value 4k by 3m. Then omega can be written as root 4k by 3m. Now this is also the answer is correct for the simple harmonic motion. Angular velocity should be root 4k by 3m. Third part is the maximum value of v naught for which the disc will roll without. Uh, without slipping is first option mu g root capital M by k second option b mu g root capital M by 2k option c mu g uh, root 3m by k option d mu g root 5m by 2k. Now the condition for the pure rolling translatory kinetic energy means linear kinetic energy m b not square plus half i omega square is equal to kinetic energy of the spring here you can see that there are two springs are connected together so therefore 1 by 2 k x square it is two times why we have to taken two times because there are two springs Acting or connecting with the same disc, so therefore it can be written as two into one by two k x square. Now one by two m v not square plus one by two. What is the moment of inertia of the disc? One by two m and uh, radius is r square and omega. Omega can be written as Angular velocity can be written as linear velocity in the form of omega can be written as v by r. 
so v not by r whole square 2 to cancel out k x square then 1 by 2 m p not square plus 2 to the 4 m r square by 4 into p square r square equal to k x square here r square r square cancel then uh, 1 by 2 m v naught square plus m v naught square by 4 equal to k x square taking the lcm 4 2 to the 4 2 m v naught square plus m v naught square equal to k x square then 3 m v naught square upon 4 equal to k x square now x square equal to 3m v naught square by 4k. Then x can be written as root 3m by 4k v naught. Actually this x is a maximum. So therefore it is x maximum value is 3m root 3m by 4k into v naught. We have already find out in our previous question frictional force equal to 2 kx by 3. This is frictional force. And frictional force is also equal to mu mg. 3k by 2k by 3. And what is the value of uh, x? You can see that here 3m by 4k v naught. Then what is the value of V naught? Value of V naught is mu mg 3 by 2k root 4k by 3m equal to V naught. Now it can be written as V naught equal to mu g put as it is in root 3 taken inside the root become 9. And m can be written in inside the root become m square and 4k upon 3m and this 2k taken inside now it become 4k square. Now you can see that 4 4 cancel out 1k is uh, k square 1k is only remaining here m and 1 power is cancelled out, 3 1s are 3, 3 3s are 9. Then what is the answer? Mu G 3 M and K. Now let's see which option is matching here. Now you can see that mu G 3 M by K. You can see that C option is correct. Mu G root 3 M by K. I hope so. You understand this question. Again, thank you for staying till the end of this video. I hope so you understand these questions. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.